Ozark Season 4 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am, you're re-watching, you're watching Ozark, or you're just not entirely sure, then you definitely need to take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which, of course, I'll mention, as well as put in the description for you. If that happens to be the case, if you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Ozark Season 4, Episode 13. The title of this episode is called Mud. And this will be my review, reaction, recap after just finishing watching the episode. So Ruth, of course, is getting new things built on her land, which includes a new place for her, a guest house, and a pool. And then the trailer that her dad was living in and things, uh, that was destroyed. And, uh, yeah, Ruth's life is certainly turning around. Uh, Wendy is listening to the radio in the van and hears that there's a storm coming. Wendy actually takes herself to the hospital and says she's not feeling well and wants to check in. And this is like a mental hospital sort of thing. Uh, the hospital staff, though, turn Wendy away because there's just too many people there. Marty finds out that Rachel and Ruth have the paperwork to take over the Missouri Bell. And he actually finds out that Ruth's name is on the license. So Marty says that controlling interest needs to stay with him so he can launder money for the Navarro cartel. Ruth says no more money laundering, essentially. Marty tells Wendy to take it easy as he's talking to her on the phone. Marty and Camilla go to visit Omar Navarro. Jim calls Wendy and says you're going to want to divorce your husband because he's got great news. Uh, he's got to marry uh, Schuler to essentially be a donor. Uh, she's a CFO, and Wendy calls Jim a beast. So Wendy goes to visit Nathan, her father, Trying to bribe him with money just to leave and let her take the kids back. Nathan declines her offer. Wendy mentions that she'll kill him before she lets him take the kids. Mm. Ruth tells Marty that it's nothing personal with, with taking over controlling interest. Ruth says she cleaned her record and she's not going to let him and Wendy shit where she eats. Jonah says that Grandpa is better than mom uh, you know when marty's talking to him and charlotte rachel tells wendy that ruth hired her because she's a good manager and wendy says well your business the blue cat was struggling when we got here uh and then rachel goes to her car at night and nelson threatens her life as he was sitting in the back seat with a gun to rachel's head uh, Rachel confronts Marty about an assassination that, uh, or assassin that uh, came to her. Marty tells her he knows nothing of it, and then Rachel realizes it was probably all Wendy's idea. Uh, Ruth has rerouted the casino's funds due to what happened to Rachel. Wendy thinks they should make Camilla in charge and tell her everything about the FBI and all that. Uh, Ruth asks, or I should say, Ruth talks to Nathan. Ruth asks about the schools where Nathan lives. And Nathan asks Ruth what her and Ben talked about because Ruth isn't Ben's type. He doesn't like blondes. Wendy tells Camilla that they know she put the hit out on Omar Navarro. And then Camilla goes to visit Navarro. And during this conversation, Navarro tells Camilla that uh, he didn't kill Javi which, of course, previously retracts what he said before. And then Camilla calls Marty to ask who really killed Javi. And um, Marty's like, well, Navarro put the order out, but um, I, I don't know who did. I'm not really in that side of the business. I, I could try to find out, but I'm, I'm not really going to be much, much help. Uh, Ruth offers the guest house or the big house to Rachel as there'll be too much room for her and three when three's randomly there. Navarro's priest talks to Wendy. Uh, because of this conversation, Wendy's goes back to the Wendy goes back to the hospital and says that if they make her leave, she'll kill her father. Oh boy. Marty goes to visit Wendy and she wants him to tell the kids she's in there. Uh, the pace of this is really going fast. Like one minute she gets checked into the hospital, next minute Marty's there, and uh, they're already talking. She says she's not leaving there until she gets her kids back. Nelson is following Ruth in the rain. Ruth, because of this, goes to the police station to talk with uh, Sheriff Ronnie, uh, or acting Sheriff Ronnie Wyckoff. And she says the person that they have in custody for 
Wyatt and Darlene's murder is innocent. He didn't do that. Maybe he's guilty of, you know, stealing things and whatnot. She tells him that Javier um, did, it, did it. And uh, because of this, she hunted him down and killed Javier Javier in Chicago. She also says that Javi killed Sheriff Nix as well. Uh, Ruth tells him that this is some high level shit. And uh, as Ruth leaves, she says Ronnie he, to Ronnie, she, he's going to be a good sheriff. So Ruth does leave the police station, then notices that Nelson is not there. He's gone. So then she calls to warn Rachel. Rachel's at home watching Duck Dynasty. It takes her a while, but she finally answers the phone. She tells Rachel to go to the closet and get a rifle and then get out of there. Uh, Rachel doesn't even get a chance to put her shoes on. Uh, she sees Nelson pull up, so Rachel climbs to the top of the trailer and shoots Nelson twice, killing him with the second fatal shot. And uh, the episode ends with Ruth arriving home as they kind of stare down at Nelson's body, and that's it. So, interesting episode. There's a lot of slow things, but then there's a lot of stuff that really speeds up. They got one episode left of this. It's, this is the second time I've seen this episode now. As far as the score of this episode, I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. I'll say this, I didn't expect in a million years that Rachel would be the one that would kill Nelson. Well, simply because she was gone for all of Season 3 and the first half of Season 4. Uh, so that was a little shocking. But I liked it because I do like Rachel as a character. She is, I don't know what it is about her, but I just like a, her. There's characters on this show that I really like. Uh, that aren't there anymore or that people are like who gives a shit about her like uh, buddy buddy's fucking awesome i miss buddy a lot so as far as the standout character of this episode i mean it was a good episode for, for ruth it was a, a decent episode for wendy as well but i'm gonna go in another direction i'm gonna give the character of the episode to rachel because she had some good powerful scenes um you know confronting marty about this assassin she killed nelson and this guy's like untouchable. So I'm going to give the character of the episode to, to Rachel is, you know, finally give it to her. And, uh, that's what I have to say about that. So you've heard what I have to say now, of course, it's your turn. If you're a fan of Ozark or possibly anything else that I cover, like the walking dead, Dexter or Dexter, new blood, uh, breaking bad game of Thrones, better call Saul lost. Uh, there's so many things that I talk about on this channel, or if you like, or if you're a fan of uh, UFC live fight reactions, or if you just want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm, because that's the main thing, just make sure you smash that like button if you know anybody that would be interested in this, or if you want to share this video on any of your social media platforms, please do so. Don't forget to sound off in the comment section about what your thoughts are on this episode of Ozark, titled Mud. Uh, what would you rate the episode, and who would you say your character of the episode is? There's a lot of different directions that you could go for this one. I chose Rachel because I've already given it to Ruth a bunch of times. And yeah, Wendy, I, I could have too, but, you know, she's got it too. And then last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. You're watching the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel. Join the team. Share a damn support to be a part of something special. And JDev will return.